Yes, I mean, it, it's so rare to, to be able, you know, to, as an actor to play somebody so strong and, and very virile, you know, so ballsy and it was, it was kind of a fantasy for me to just play somebody yeah, so driven and, you know, strong. It is, it is completely real. It's funny that it, they are working out so hard, you know, like every day on the weekends and the diet is brutal. And, um, you know, and it, yeah, I mean, they have the six packs and, you know, they're very proud, uh, obviously. Uh, and, but I had to train too, you know, in a different way, because if I had to train like them, it would look like, I don't know, it wouldn't look very sexy. <laughs> but uh, it was kind of, it's full on, you know, it's, um, you know, two hours of like push ups and lunges, squats and other things, and then two hours of sword fighting every day. It, it, it's it's kind of daunting in the beginning, but then the, it's exciting, you know. It's, 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 it was the, one of the appeal, you know, of the job. I was wor worried at the very beginning to not be credible as a woman commander, to be, you know, like, are we going to believe that? Little me is gonna have so much power over my, those men and be so scary. So that was that was the challenge. So you know, I tried to got to get some inspiration from like you know, women warriors and uh, Amazons, Cleopatra, Lady Macbeth, um, and also the training helped me to kind of find the aura of the character. Alexandra Byrne is is very very talented and very brave. You know, I mean, she she kind of my my, my favorite outfit is the the one that I wear towards the end with the spikes at the back. It, it's very animal, very raw, very weird and bizarre. And I also have this outfit. It's only made of hair. I don't know how she came up with this. You know, it's animal. Yeah, it's cool. I'm seeing the film on, on Tuesday. I haven't seen it yet, uh, uh, so I can't wait. Uh, but it's 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 you know the first 300 was so inventive, and we've never seen that kind of film before. You know, it was it's like moving paintings, or I don't know. It, it, it's uh, the blood, the slow motion. It's um, it's operatic in some way. There's something kind of uh, bada boom for the eyes. No, it was it was. Um, we we shot this film in Bulgaria. They would like I don't know. They had uh, two big sets, but it is just pure green screen. You know, so you just have you have the boats, no water, and just just a green world around you. And you have to kind of um, let your imagination go and and you know have faith in the special effects guys and and you know, it, it, yeah, the special effects are just like. Amazing.